you've been surging along and one of your threads has broken and you are stitching and it's not a chain anymore. It's just individual threads. We're working through all the video tutorials and tips and tricks on the Singer Elite SE017. We have a whole playlist of all the videos in the description below or at the end of this video. But a common question and issues that come up is when people have a thread that breaks. Let me back up just a second. Number one, if you use quality serger thread, you can eliminate a lot of serger thread breaks. I have discovered that. Um, I haven't had a thread break yet, but I'm also using good quality threads. So that is key number one. We have some recommendations also in the description below. Click on that, it'll take you over to some good quality serger thread. Treat your serger, it's like feeding it good food. So better thread will make the serger work smoother and uh, it really will make it happier longer. Okay, so let's say one of these threads has uh, disappeared. Now I will tell you, if it's a needle thread, all you need to do is get back down there and thread the needle. No usual problems will persist with that. But if it is a looper thread, an upper looper or a lower looper, we're going to revisit the order that this serger was threaded in. So if you're just re-threading it and sticking it in, I need to show you that we threaded the upper looper first, and that's the purple one. We threaded the lower looper second, and here's the key, the needles were last. So if anything, what happens is, is if you leave kind of a previous stitch all linked together, meaning the threads from the needles are hooked underneath one of those loopers, and you try to start that overlock chain again, what's gonna happen is it will not get together. You need to make sure that the needle threads are pulled out. Now, I even read one book one time, and it actually recommended for a thread break, thread the loopers, unthread the needles, so like clip them, and then re-thread the needles. Now, if you're like me, if I don't have to thread needles, I'm not going to make myself do it. But what it was doing was making sure those threads were not left down and underneath. So if you lift up the presser foot and you see those needle threads going down through the throat plate, all you need to do, you can take some little fabric or your, your tweezers, something small, and swipe those needle threads out from down below. So pretend that you threaded them last and they should be going right through the eye of the needles and out. That will clear the serger, allowing the overlock loopers threads to get back to where they are. Now, if you can't get it figured out, guess what you're gonna do? You can take your scissors, you're gonna clip, 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 go back to our first video, watch how to re-thread the machine from scratch, from the beginning, and I guarantee that usually fixes everything. As long as you make sure you catch all the guides and don't miss any, the serger will re-thread itself, easy peasy. But I'm a fan of just like doing the one thing that it needs corrected, clearing those needle threads out from the throat plate and you should be ready to surge right back at the beginning. So that's my little tip. Remember you can tie on, pull through. That also works if you have a thread that you can get a hold of and then get it to pull through the serger, that works. But when in doubt, just go ahead, give yourself a little practice, re-thread the machine from the beginning and that will usually take care of any problems that might have come up. Check out all of our videos in the playlist right here and you can start from the beginning mastering your serger. Happy surging.